Hey everybody, Patrick here from One Shot Kill It Media. Today we're doing a quick little sight in and uh, feature review, range review of the new Ataball MROC or Modern Rifle Optic Component. Uh, just to give you a breakdown of a few quick facts for this optic here, I've got the box here right for us. Um, but basically it's a 3x32 scope, it's a prism style scope. Um, it's got a ballistic reticle on it with a chevron, um, so that's pretty nice. I know a lot of people were asking for that. Um, eye relief is two inches, illumination, you got six different settings and it's a red illumination. Field of view at 100 yards is 37.7 feet. That's the largest field of view for any three power optic that I know of. Uh, click value is half MOA. Um, you got fully multi-coated lens, anti-reflective lens, fog proof, shock proof, water proof. Battery type here is uh, CR2 and it does have the Adamal lifetime warranty. So. That's a quick rundown of the facts there for you. Uh, basically, when it comes to this optic itself, when you mount it to your rifle, you want to hand tighten it and then do no more than about an eighth or a quarter turn on these knobs. Um, anything further than that could damage the optic. You don't want to do that. Um, you can see here you've got your illumination settings. You've got tethered caps for your uh, elevation and your windage. And then this is your battery compartment right here. So. What I'm going to be doing is testing it out on my MGS Citizen Rifle. Uh, so the Citizen Rifle, again, made by MGS Firearms. You got a 16 inch Criterion barrel on here. Uh, it's just a smooth shooting rifle, rifle length gas system. Uh, absolutely love it. Easy to stay accurate with this thing. One thing to keep in mind is with the MROC, it's built to be zeroed at 100 meters. Well, I don't have 100 meters to work with here right now. Um, so we're going to be zeroing at about 25. So instead of using the tip of the chevron like we would at 100 yards, we're going to actually use the 300 yard mark, um, which is the very top of the first line going vertical on the actual uh, rifle itself. So let's see here. Well, I'll show you an example of that. I'll put a picture up here next to me so you can see what it looks like and what point we'll be using as our zero point at 25 meters. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm really excited for it. It's ruggedly built, nice looking optic, very, very clear. I love the clarity with this and uh, that illuminated chevron is pretty kick-ass so i'm excited to see what sort of results we get here with this optic and how easy it is to use we'll be doing a torture test in the future too on it um, but for now we're just going to do a little simple shooting and just see how we like it all right folks let's go ahead and get started here we go all right everybody we've got the Adaball mrock mounted onto the mgs citizen rifle we're going to go ahead and get it sighted in we're going to use the 300 meter marker on the ballistic reticle at 25 meters as our zero. So let's go ahead and get dialed in here and uh, then we'll do some more testing from there. All right, so I can see my group through the reticle here. I'm gonna go ahead and make some adjustments. It looks like we need to adjust. We're shooting here, let's see. We're shooting low and to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and make our adjustments for us. All right, so I made two quick adjustments here with the MROC. I'm gonna go ahead, shoot another group and see how close we are to our center. Um, zero point that I'm using right now at the 25 meters. So here we go. Okay. So elevation is pretty good. I just need to make a little bit of an adjustment to our elevation and a little bit more of an adjustment uh, to our windage. It looks like I overcorrected on the windage here a little bit. So let's go ahead and get that dialed in. Okay, so I made those adjustments to the windage and elevation. Let's go ahead and see where we're at now.
All right. Perfect. So we're exactly where we need to be dialed in at for the MROC itself. Um, in the manual, it says obviously the 25 meter zero is not as accurate as the 100 meter zero that you would get if you used your Chevron as the actual aim point for 100 meters. But again, we're just working with the distance that we have here. Um, so yeah, from there we'll go ahead. We got our zero now and ready to go. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with it. All right, let's keep moving. All right, a few quick shots from the Adaball MROC. Here we go. Very nice. All right, folks, so obviously we don't have a ton of distance to work with here right now, but um, in terms of just quick target acquisition, field of view and everything like that, let's go ahead and just give this a shot with the MROC on a couple targets that are close up and uh, just see how fast we transition between them. All right, here we go. All right, so overall, even though it is a three power scope um, it still is easy to transition between your targets using it it's got a nice wide field of view which makes uh, those transitions a little easier so very cool so far i like it it's holding up nice looks good nice and clear let's go ahead and keep shooting a little bit all right so we're just going to test the amrock here with a little repeatability on shots so we're just going to shoot um, a handful of quick shots at that target that's a little further out and just see how controllable uh, the rifle and the optic is together here as a combo. Alright, so I had a little wobble with the target there at first because it turned on me, but uh, follow-up shots were very easy to handle with the MROC and the MGS Citizen rifle here. So I like that. Impressive. As always, Adaball is making some nice products here at a fair price, and I'm fucking digging it. So let's keep moving. All right, folks, here's just a few more quick shots with the Adaball MROC and the MGS Citizen. Here we go. Very nice. I'm loving this optic so far. All right, folks, so like I said, today was just kind of a quick... Uh, it's sight in, shoot around a little bit with the new Adaball MROC on the MGS Citizen Rifle. Uh, just kind of giving it a try to see how I feel about it. Um, love it so far. I mean, it's great. It's clear. The Chevron reticle is really nice. The ballistic reticle is going to be awesome once we can get a little more distance shooting involved here. And uh, yeah, overall, I just have to say I'm impressed with the build quality. Um, the only thing I had a little trouble with is when your hands are cold. Um, these uh, The turrets were a little hard to grab onto. Uh, but I mean that's a, a pretty minimal thing here once you get this thing zeroed you're gonna be using that ballistic reticle for any other adjustments so um, overall I just have to say it seems like a top-notch quality product here and uh, yeah I just simply impressed by it um, this is a nice replacement to the Adaball uh, 4x32 fixed power that they had out um, I loved that product I beat the living hell out of that um, along with MGS firearms beating the hell out of it and uh, that thing kept kicking so in the near future We'll have a torture test coming out here uh, with the Adaball MROC as well and the Adaball MCRD too. so Stay tuned folks. We'll have those reviews coming for you uh, Shortly and uh, we'll obviously have some more shooting videos and everything coming up too on YouTube Instagram and all the other outlets Facebook All right folks like always go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me uh, thank you so much for watching. Please share these videos with other folks. We want to grow our subscriber base to make sure that we can keep making these videos for you about different products that are worth your hard-earned money. Uh, so like always, if you could, go ahead and hit subscribe. We really, really do appreciate it. Uh, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram. We really appreciate you all tuning in. And then, uh, yeah, like always, we just got to keep growing those social media uh, outlets here so we can go ahead and create relationships with other companies just like Adaball and keep bringing these other products to light for you to see what's worth your money. Um, as always, thanks again for tuning in, folks. We will uh, come back here again soon with a torture test video on this optic, torture test video on other Adaball optics. Uh, we'll always be running our MGS Citizen rifle here as an optic testing platform as well. 
Uh, so lots of fun stuff coming down the pipeline. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have an awesome day. We'll catch you a little later.